Hi everybody, Jay Schaefer here for Skylapser.com. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the field of view for any camera and any lens. Okay, you may think that this is kind of silly because you can just go onto the internet and you can look up field of view and you can find out uh, field of view for a particular lens. The trouble with this is that most of the sites that you go to will tell you what a diagonal field of view is for a particular lens on a full frame camera. Well, uh, sometimes we need more than that. We need a calculation for both the horizontal and the vertical field of view. And not all of us use full frame cameras. Some of us use crop, crop frame cameras like uh, 7D or uh, GH2, GH3 type camera. Well, one handy way that you can do this is you can go to this site right here and I uh, posted the link down below and uh, this this site shows you uh, a variety of different calculations that you can do for your camera including uh, uh, depth of field and it also has field of view in feet and meters and then right here we have um, the field of view calculator that takes into account whether you got a crop frame camera and whether you're shooting with a 4-3 ratio sensor or a 2-3 ratio sensor. So you just simply put in the length of your focal length of your lens in millimeters, the crop factor of your camera if you know it, and the ratio of your sensor, and it gives you both horizontal and vertical field of view in degrees. And so that's really handy and I highly recommend going to this site if you have access to the internet to get your field of view for your particular camera. However, I have a kind of a unique situation and my uh, Panasonic GH2 camera has a 16 by 9 ratio sensor to utilize the most pixels in it. And so when I'm shooting a panorama or a gigapixel photograph, uh, I want to use that entire sensor. So I need to calculate uh, the uh, field of view for that sensor. Fortunately, there is this formula. So you can take this formula here and you can put that into Google search. Just type it in or copy and paste it. I've got it posted right down here below. And you paste that in and you just input the dimension of your sensor that you want to calculate. So in the case of my uh, 16 by 9 sensor here is I can put in this value here and then I can put in the value of the uh, lens that I want to calculate for and then I just hit return and that has calculated the field of view for that particular dimension. This was the horizontal uh, dimension for this, uh, this particular lens and this particular sensor. And then I can also put in the vertical value here and so the only piece of information that I need is the actual dimensions of my sensor and then I can use this formula and then uh, I need to know of course the uh, focal length of the lens and then I can just do the calculation and I end up with an accurate field of view. Okay so uh, this is great but if you're in the field and you don't have access to the internet or an iDevice or a smartphone or something like that what do you do? Well, all I did is I went ahead and did this calculation for a variety of different lenses for my particular camera. So I did a calculation for my 14, my 28, and my 50, and my 140. And then I just keep that chart in my camera bag so that when I'm out in the field and I'm shooting a panorama or a gigapixel, as I can input those values and calculate my panorama or my gigapixel. All right, this has been Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com. Be sure to subscribe to us right down here on YouTube or visit us on the internet at Skylapser.com.